Hey guys, what's up, what's up? This is your boy Sinaya. So, I've got super exciting news for you guys. I have partnered with the Eastern Cape Department of Tourism and we are about to go on an exciting, exciting journey. I'm taking you guys to one of the most luxurious, one of the most beautiful places in South Africa, all right? So come with me on a trip and let's have fun. Okay, so this is the car that they have blessed me with. Come closer, come closer, come closer. Woo-wee! We are about to have fun, man. Stay tuned, guys. So I get home, and all my nephews and nieces have literally appropriated my room. Look at these kids, just chilling here. Just chilling here. What's up? What's up? This is now our room. Who do you guys think is my favorite here? Me! And me! Me! These two. None of you guys are my favorites. You're lying! <laughs> hey, baby. What's up my darling MVPs and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shostly Mimi where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see they hurt. Of course you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on those channels. If you snooze you do what? You lose. Are you here to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me, how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? Acide heart coming from our girl, Sinaye. I hope you are recording content for your personal YouTube channel, Please, let's do it. And this is Sinaye giving a bombastic side eye. Now, where is all of this thing coming out, coming out from? Sinaye Kotobe. I hope I call that surname correct. Sinaye Kotobe. You know, so Sinaye is actually flying right now in EC, like Eastern Cape. He's actually displaying there, showcasing his celebrity level. You get the point. <laughs> Baby boy be flying, you know, be giving us content, you know, just little drops, you know. And then he also is sharing family with us too. If there is one thing we cannot deny from Sinaye is that he has got a good family. Mm. When a, when you see a sweet family, you will you will know. When you see a, a sweet family, you would know. You know. So yeah, if there is one thing, seeing Sinaye dad, seeing the mom, I know that you no, know, this baby boy. Even some of his reasoning in the diary room, I knew. Forget it. This boy is actually from a good home. You know. So yeah. So Sinaye has been having the fun of his life that there in an EC, you know, and the fans have been following you know, back to back and they really hope he would give them big content in his YouTube channel after everything is done and dusted. Okay, and then Sinaya is here asking, can you try and guess where I'm going? Sinaya Tor EC, EC Tourism. These are the names he called. Can I even call the names? There's this karma coffee bay or port afraid like i told you guys sinai has been actually carrying his fans along on the happenings and every fun activities he has been having there in ec and then nancy said i can't believe i manifested this instant k partnership with sinai while he was still in the house sinai told ec and then this person said here god is good tour with sinai Sinai and Eastern Cape Tourism. So um, the fans are celebrating Sinai, you know, on this opportunity he had, you know, you know, to actually get to know EC very well as a celebrity that he is. Meanwhile, talking about Sinai, hmm, guys, this one really chokes. Still talking about how fans keep babazing on the TL. Remember the other time um, Sinai was appreciating Papa Ghost and the brother Andile and Kube, you know, and then... This was the reply Andile gave Sinaye after Sinaye was appreciating them. If you followed my video, I think I made that post. I think, did I make, when did I make that video? I think it was yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. But I know there was this video I made where Sinaye was appreciating Papa Ghost and the brother because of his presence on Bogat Radio. You know, the Sports 10, whatever that he did. You know, so when he made that appreciation post, I actually got it and I posted it here, told you guys how he was doing the appreciation. This is Papa Ghost's brother reply as he said, Hey, how did I miss this? When Papa Ghost told me your dreams and asked me to give you a leg up, I had no idea of your hustle. 
all the best boy and thanks for the super laugh this is what papa goose brother replied because he replied quite late you know meanwhile the question the, the reason why i brought this gist here is not because of papa goose brother replied on anything but the reason why this gist is here is because sinaye deleted that tweet of appreciation as you can see sugar mommy of lagos said sinaye deleted the tweets now the question is why did he delete that tweet there is no other reason Sinai deleted that tweet. It's just because of naysayers. Naysayers made him delete that tweet. Because why he made that appreciation post, you know, of Papa Ghost, the brother and everything, how his dream is coming true, um, true Papa Ghost. People started coming for him on the comment section. They started calling him names. They are like, oh, now you see, you're a fake person. You know, you're a fake person. You never like Papa Ghost in the house. Now you've seen his importance. Yada, 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 yada. You know, all the kind of blah, 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 blah. All the people who could not actually place it at this point. Despite all the preaching Yolanda and myself have been doing. Yes, I mentioned Yolanda because if I should mention a housemate among the Siyamusha housemates who has been preaching of peace, who has been preaching about, oh, let us go. This is a show. It's Yolanda. I have not seen any other Siyamusha housemate preach this. It is just Yolanda. Yolanda has been the only one lamenting. How would you want us to beef each other what, to what gain? She has used IG. She has used TikTok. She has used um, Twitter space to do all of this. So that's why I would mention Yolanda with my full chest. Yes. So, um... Still on this, people who still have their mindset of whatever happened in the house came to the comment section. They started dragging Sinai. You never liked Papa Gold. Uh, sorry, I said Gold. Papa Ghosts. You know, you were planning this in the house on him. You were doing this in the house on him. You know, they started dragging this boy from left, right, and center. A post which is meant to be a sweet post, which is meant to be a oh post. They say has came there to showcase themselves. So baby boy seeing that and knowing that he doesn't need this negative energy, he deleted it. That is the reason why he deleted it. That is why. This is really not funny anymore. Like you guys just take things on this show, you put it on your head, you just want to use it on this housemate. That's why these housemates are trying their best not to let what the naysayers say get to them. They try to maintain peace among each other, but the naysayers never give up. So damn annoying. Okay, coming from ZN. You all should leave Sinai alone, please. Whatever issues he had with ghosts were mutual and they resolved it. If you think he is fake, that's your problem. But leave him for us, Senna. And you and Le will continue mentioning him until he decided is decide otherwise. To me, I don't see this some of this drama is quite unnecessary. If you ask me, it's quite unnecessary, but people just want to step brow so that the social street will get interesting. But at the same time, when you go deep with all of this, it's not cool. Anyways, while they talk about some um, Sinai and all of this, then Sinai shared from Bogat um, Radio, you know, that said, Cut it live on our YouTube with Sinai Bogat Radio. And then Sinai called out on Papa Ghost on this one and said, My first ever radio interview. Thank you for being such a sport and being my first guest, brother, at Papa Ghost. I hope you all enjoy. So if you want to see the interview, first, um, MCNA first interview on radio with PG, all you have to do is go to their YouTube and see it. Now you see that in the midst of all this brohaha, these people are cool with each other. They just smile at you guys and be like, all oh, these naysayers, their head is actually spinning. This is Papa Ghost's reply when um, MCNA called out on him. He said... All love, Mr. Kotobe. And then this person said, okay, in the killing it in the radio space. Like, Sinaya is literally doing well. I am so happy for him. Same way, I'm happy to um all of the housemates because they are all doing well. All the best, Sinaya. This family clearly won the best for you. God's timing is the best. You and that Papa Ghost were meant for that reconciliation before the show ended. Well done, Sinai. Yes, they actually, because of the just few in the house, they had time to reconcile. In fact, Papa Ghost actually got closer to Sinai more than other person, even more than Makeke, who used to be his close pal. We all know the drama that happened in the house. You know, Papa Ghost became like closer, like so close to Sinai, to the extent he told Sinai and said, See, you see this final week? Man, you just have to make me happy. You just have to make it laugh. Because the other man right there is not going to talk to me, which is MC Junior. We all know MC Junior and um, Papa Ghost drama, you know. And then he was like a makeke 
he, he cannot even vouch for Makeke anymore because during the last season, Makeke and Papa Goose just turned out to be cats and rats. You guys watched the show and you all saw what happened, you know, and that really affected that friendship because if not, PG, um, Makeke and um, Lerato, they were a thing, yeah. But the sweetest part of it all is just that they are not beefing. Everybody is cool, you know, and on a cool lane. That is just the sweetest part of it all. Meanwhile, talking about being cool and in a cool lane, Jolof Queen says, I think this is the sheep I have enjoyed the most. Zinaye, you will forever have my heart. And non toxic says, Koyeye can never, I haven't healed. Imagine they decided to date, I would go crazy. When I saw this comment from Shella for Life, I, I paused and I laughed hugely. Why did I laugh? So it is so obvious that some of the Zinaye shippers, in fact, most of the Zinaye shippers know that they are living in delusions. You know, they know this is not reality, but they make it look like reality. For this person to say, I really wish they could date. <laughs> it, it choked each other guys okay and then this person said a shipping fan base did a whole lot during the show still doing a post show by the time the real shippers gift blah 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 jollof queen replied and said this is where people always get it wrong you can ship love and still support them individually wholeheartedly they always make shippers look broke and not supportive shippers are really not green they're not agree this time you know about this z gift and still giving headache you know people are like okay you guys said shippers fan base don't do huge things they should focus on brand building and all of that but see what the z fans did because most of the z fans are also shippers with that is the Zenaye shippers, but look at what they did. And now Jolof Queen, who is among the head shipper of Zenaye, said, And if you know Jolof Queen, if you've been following my channel, you would know Jolof Queen is one Z fans that do not waste time in gifting Z. If Z is hungry, she would send food across. Anything, she do it swiftly and sharply without wasting time. She is a shipper, she loves Zenaye and Z so much look at her saying even the day you get married to different people i will ship you it is a tune do us a kind of love so you see she's not joking one bit <laughs> and guess what this is how most of the zinaya shippers are they enjoy their delusion in peace they do not want too much give them little and they are fine as you can see she said even if they got married they see their wedding pictures she will still come on the tl and ship them even if you want to hear from some Zinaye shippers, they will tell you the same thing. That we do not care. So far, Zinaye are cool with each other. We are going to be shipping them. You know? So, yeah, that is just it for the Zinaye shippers. They said they are enjoying this ship with their food chairs. Because why? Zinaye came out. That is Z and Zinaye. They came out without drama. You know, in a situation whereby most of this ship we've seen, sometimes you will start hearing like, oh, this person will stop talking to this one. That person will stop talking to the other one. You know? But this one, Sinai even came out, acknowledged the Zinaye shippers as the people who also, you know, supported him in the house. So the Zinaye shippers feel like they are never relenting. Me, I can't wait to see the gift. In fact, um, this lady was her name. Z is going to be among the housemates who would receive huge gifts this season. Because tell me, she has just received two gifts from her fans. And she's yet to receive gift from the Zinaye shippers. Because the last time I checked, the Zinaye shippers are contributing money for Z and the... Um, uh, what's it called? Um, Sinai Strip. So we're still waiting for that one also. Omo Ichoko. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.